Hey guys, uh, welcome to Cool Costume Video. Uh, I know it's been a while that I never post any videos um, just because uh, work life has practically taken over uh, my life. Uh, the work has been crazy for the last several months. Hardly had any time to make any videos. So I decided to shoot a video for everyone to see what I have been working on. Um, not a lot because uh, work life is just taking too much. So anyway, here's a video uh, on some of the helmets I'm working on. Not sure whether I can complete, but I'm gonna show you this video blog to tell you um, some of the things I work on, some of the things, some of the challenges that I face. So, so um, you've seen this before. Uh, the die deck uh, still in paper form. Uh, this is going to be a tough to work on. Okay, uh, I'm not sure will I will ever complete this because there's just too much detail. So um, I put this aside and decide to work on my kid's helmet. So uh, he wanted the um, CIO. Uh, here's the helmet. This is really really ugly and this is very very complicated. So I thought I did everything well, and uh, lo and behold, this thing is too small for him. So I said, you know what, I'm going to put this aside, leave it as is, and I'll make a bigger one. So I started to work on this, a lot bigger, and as you can see, I never completed it because this becomes too big. So wasted more time. Got tired, put this aside, not gonna work on it again, so got me thinking. During uh, thinking, I decided to do something different, so made a haze up. So, this particular haze up has already been resin, uh, nothing inside, uh, it's just very um, hard on the outside, but nothing on the inside. Um, as you can see, this thing has tons of detail as well. Going to be tough to work on. So I'm not sure if I'll complete it, um, but decided to resin it just to protect the paper. So moving on, did something similar, uh, different. Now this time, Titanfall. So this is the the bad guy, and not sure if you can tell from the video. Uh, this thing itself is actually um, just fit my head adult size, but um, I think this is going to be too small to fit anyone's head. Um, one way to wear it is actually once this is finished, you, you, you need to cut this away kind of and make it into a separate section like Iron Man and attach it using magnet because the inside itself is very very tight. Um, going to be a challenge to make this work. Um, I'm going to attempt, uh, as you can see I already resin, put uh, Rondo inside, so this is very hard, um, just a matter of putting Bondo, make it smooth, make it pretty. So will I complete this? I'm hoping, I don't know yet, uh, we'll try, but first I have to complete the, the main project. Uh, which is to make my kids costume. So instead of doing this CIO you see here, I decided to do something simple because like I said, that CIO is a tough one to make. So I made the EOD. So I made this. Uh, actually I made, um, uh, yeah I did make this. And looks right size. And I start to resin, and I also put some uh, rondo inside. So this is kind of hard. The problem is, it's too small again. So another challenge. So I, I say, you know, you know what? I have to make another one. So make it bigger, and so you can see, it's too big. Uh, I said, you know what? This is a tough one been doing this for too long um, I don't know I felt like giving up but hey uh, at least this is easy helmet to do and yesterday went ahead and finished a much smaller EOD as you can see is uh, this is the adult size this is medium and then this is way too small so I need to finish this helmet 
and I'm actually going to start today. Uh, just had my son try it on. It's the perfect size, so this is what I'll be working on. Um, now, all in all, um, these are some of the things I pep. Um, not the funnest things to do. Um, one of the, the challenges that I took on myself is to make a different theme helmet. So, Halo is gone, and I always admire, uh, actually like um, Stormtrooper. So I made the Stormtrooper helmet. Um, as you can see, I have resin, and because this is a round shape um, helmet, and it's pretty big, so putting Rondo may not uh, be the, the right thing to do. So I started to put fiberglass inside. Uh, it's not done. There's still a lot of areas that I need to work on. Uh, I plan to finish this. Will I do it? I, I'm hoping because with the new Star Wars movie coming out, I'm sure the Stormtrooper is iconic. Everyone will know who's, um, who are the uh, Stormtroopers. So I, I plan uh, to work on this and maybe finish this and see how it looks like. Um, so over the course of the year, I made all this, um, as you can see, it's a mess, it's a lot of work. And uh, while on Facebook, I someone offered to sell um, a helmet and I kind of like it. I was originally thinking of making my own costume and I bought this from him for I think a uh, hundred bucks. This is actually the soldier. Um, it has a lot of details. I'm not sure if you can see it up close. Um, it has a separation line here. Um, there are a lot of details here, but it needs clean up. And actually, this helmet itself, to make it wearable, it's a lot of work as well. Um, some of the detail here are not as well done because actually, if you can tell. This is very light uh, with the uh, the plastic. Um, the back has detail, but it still requires a little cleanup. Um, so, while the helmet looks great, um, but the amount of work that I need to put in, and while not wearing it, so it's kind of waste. So I may just hold on to it and as a collection. If you're interested, I can sell it to you, but uh, for now, it's just sitting in my home, not doing anything. So there you have it, some of the work that I've been working on, uh, but unfortunately, my work, life, family, practically had to get over all my free time, so this is what I have for now. So if you like this video, please click on the like, um, and please do subscribe to my channel as I continue to work on the helmets. Thank you for watching.